Uh, as it, Ed Wallace has been cruising around in a pretty nice looking SUV. So why is he whining? Uh oh. <laughs> well, good morning, Lauren and Tim. I have the Mercedes GLC compact SUV. To give you an idea of size, this is like marginally larger than a Honda CRV. And Mercedes has come a long way with their, their vehicles, in my opinion, particularly in this class, because it's starting to feel and look more like a luxury vehicle. Now, the downside. This is the AMG edition. So imagine a compact SUV with a V8 engine and 469 horsepower. That's what we refer to in the auto industry as overkill. Now the base engine in the GLC, which I wish we had, is a two liter inline four cylinder that puts out 255 horsepower. And in this size car, that's gonna be more than enough. There's also a V6 that's 385 horsepower, but again, Lately, it's like all their top-line AMG models. Going over to the interior, it's actually a nicely done dash. You'll see lots of buttons and knobs and a fairly good-sized screen. Now, one of the things that Mercedes has kind of copied from Audi is you can set up the driver's screen to where the navigation is right in the center, but the close-up navigation for street turns is directly in front of you on the driver's screen, and that's great volume of air that comes out of it, wonderful. Now, again, even though it's a compact SUV, this one right here has a good amount of space in the back. So you can easily fit four people in this. I guarantee you, probably six feet tall because of the high roof line on it. And then, in the back, I put it up, the seats fold down, but one of the things, doesn't have a lip here. And I bring this up over and over again because everybody's going to SUVs. If you have a driveway on a slant, you go to the grocery store. We don't live in a world of brown paper bags anymore. They're all in plastic. Things roll right out. So when I get it out on the road, the ride and drive is really wonderful on it. In fact, again, better than what I remember the last generation of this size vehicle that we were driving. The base price starts at 42.5. Now that's with the four-cylinder engine, and it's really a great engine. And if you recall, some of the other compact SUVs I brought up from the other manufacturers that are mainline, they're getting up to the $40,000 price range. So nicely equipped, you can get one of these around 50, a little over $50,000, like a BMW X3. But this one, just for the engine, 83,600 and some odd dollars. Yeah, I'd rather have the four-cylinder. With that, y'all have a good weekend. All right, Ed, thanks. Well, you can listen to Ed on 570 KLIF tomorrow. His car column now in Friday's, today's edition of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. All right.